Are you wondering what friends with benefits actually means? Perhaps you've heard the term come up in movies and TV shows, or have seen the acronym FWB and were unsure what kind of relationship that was. Maybe Maybe you are simply trying to determine if it's the right situation for you. Whatever the case may be, in order to make a friends with benefits relationship work, it's important to understand what this kind of casual connection truly means and entails. Here, we outline exactly what these relationships are and share advice on how to determine if the style is right for you. Plus, we provide tips on making sure your friends with benefits relationship is a healthy one. So, we need to repeat this, this is not a story-telling movie. It's a review movie. Something like what Honest Trailer has been doing but it's more on a catchy things going on. Let's do this. Friends with Benefits is a romantic comedy that follows a predictable pattern but can still be enjoyable. This is the second movie this year that wonders if people can have sex without falling in love, and the second movie that wrongly believes it is not possible, but of course it is. It's not possible if you're Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake and the audience wants to see a romantic ending. I suggest this as a new rule, it should not be allowed for movies that have famous actors and a lot of money to show them having intimate relationships and then separating them at the end. Why Friends with Benefits works for some people. Having no strings attached, as in the lack of emotional commitment, emotional investment, or both formal and informal obligations of a relationship, can be alluring to people for different reasons. People who have a preference for non-monogamous relationships and those who don't have the time for or an interest in the emotional efforts or time commitment of a traditional relationship might prefer a friends with benefits scenario. Someone who has had negative experiences in past relationships and isn't ready to open up emotionally can benefit from the physical benefits of a friends with benefits relationships without sacrificing their sense of safety in non-commitment. Individuals that identify as aromantic or have no interest in romantic attraction may also be drawn to these relationships, as would those already in open romantic relationships only seeking to fulfill sexual needs. The big news about this movie is that it shows that both Timberlake and Kunis are really good at funny movies. Since they have already shown their talent in movies like The Social Network and Black Swan, it suggests that they are genuinely skilled overall. Now all that is remaining for them to overcome are the characters from comic books who possess superpowers. She acts as Jamie, a person who finds high-level workers for companies in New York City. He acts as Dylan, a very successful art director for a website that is visited by 6 million people every month. This enables him to work with a lot of people in an office. My website is getting more visitors even though I am the only one working on it. But Dylan's company is clearly better at running a business. Jamie convinces Dylan to travel to New York and apply for a dream job, being an art director for GQ magazine. He likes the idea, but she convinces him one evening by being extremely charming, even if she is Meg Ryan. Be clear about additional casual sexual partners. If you're thinking about entering a friends with benefits relationship, it's important to keep in mind that your connection isn't a monogamous one. In fact, either of you is free to date more people. Have other friends with benefits relationships, and or play the field as much as you'd like. In addition to protecting your physical health, it's important that you protect your emotional health by understanding that your FWB relationship can end at any time and for any reason. You may agree to discuss other partners with one another or choose to not know the details. Either way, both of you need to set parameters around the use of protection and getting tested regularly for STIs. Going on one dinner date leads to going on another. You can predict what will happen. They say they have had bad experiences with romantic relationships, they promise they are not seeking a new one, and they agree to have purely physical sex without any emotional attachments. This means that there is something happening under a blanket where it is easy to understand what is happening based on how things move under it, even if we cannot see them. This part is written, directed and acted really well. 
It takes a lot of talent to make scenes like this funny. The formula now says that they need to love each other, face challenges, have disagreements, break up permanently, and so on. Friends with Benefits is more fun to watch because there are a lot of talented actors in the cast. Patricia Clarkson is Jamie's mom. She is a person who still follows the ideas from the sexual revolution. Richard Jenkins is an actor who plays the role of Dylan's dad. Dylan's dad has a condition called Alzheimer's which affects memory. This disease is where the person occasionally has moments when they are clear-minded and can give important speeches, but then they go back to being unwell. At the GQ office, Dylan becomes friends with Tommy, the sports editor. Tommy is openly gay and very passionate about his job. He even travels to work in a speedboat. This makes me think about Dylan's work on the magazine's website, where he writes stories like, tips for wearing white pants to a cookout. I think GQ is pretty cool, but not completely. They have a great article about Mila Kunis. And their website also has information about plaid pocket squares. The guy in the update talks about how he wears his pocket square depending on his mood. He usually folds it straight across. But I wander off. One of the jokes in the movie is that Dylan and Jamie are aware of all the overused and predictable situations seen in love stories and are too cool to be fooled by them in their own relationships. This doesn't really stop us from seeing that their own lives are like a romantic movie. I suppose that's part of the job. However, not every romantic comedy has good conversation that is spoken well and quickly. Kunis talks quickly in the beginning scenes like she's acting like Juno, and Timberlake keeps up easily. In a basic way, I just liked watching them. That was kind of sufficient. So, until next time, take care, stay awesome. And keep spreading the positivity. See you soon.